Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Man 25 Ultimate Team Online game. Today we got our team going against, you know, some other team. We're still in the first um, season here. I think this is the sixth game of the season. We got the sixth and seventh game of the season in this video. And in this game, I really just ran one play for like the entire half. I ran this one play with Darren McFadden and this guy couldn't stop it. And at, I mean, I play this game late at night. So usually when I play late at night, I don't really think too much i like to just play stuff simple so i ran this one play and this guy couldn't stop it so i was like all right this makes my job easy keep on running this play keep on doing work chris johnson comes into play and it's the same result chris johnson is the edge and you can't stop a play after someone runs it at least like eight times on a drive you need help okay there he finally stops it so i was like yeah we'll see if he can stop it again and he did stop it so on third down eight i decide why not run the same exact play and it works for the third time third time to charm i guess so he eventually was able to stop it but then third down eight when he probably didn't expect me to go back to it after i got stopped the first two times i was like i'm still gonna run the same play and it worked somehow you know not my most creative drive of all time and usually i don't play that way i usually i would get bored of running the same play like that but i don't know i just felt i kept on doing it and it worked eventually so when it works it's all good that's one of my mottos when it works it's all good and um Today I need I need to ask you guys what the hell I should be doing for coins and stuff like that for Mutt because I mean eventually as I continue to play Mutt I'm probably gonna like lose starters if I play enough game their contracts run up run out and stuff and you know I'm gonna eventually need coins I'm gonna eventually need new players and stuff like that this same squad's not gonna play for eternity and plus I just need better players sometimes so um I don't know what to do. I mean, I know some people suggest solo challenges, but I really don't know how those things work. So, I, I just need someone to explain some of that stuff for me because, I mean, I could be doing solo challenges right now, but I just, by the way, I'm still running the same exact like, play. You still can't stop it. Come on, man. But, yeah, I could run, I could do solo challenges, like, right now. But I just don't know if I should be doing them, if I should be, like, wasting my time doing solo challenges or if they're worth it. Or, like, what kind of solo challenges I should be doing as opposed to some of the other ones. I know people talk about doing, like, regular regular season games those are kind of worth it that's what people say i don't know i should be doing those at the same time i don't know if those games count against the contracts of my players because i don't want to burn out my players contract by playing regular season games and getting 500 coins or whatever you get for some of those things so you know let me know and also i don't know if i should be working the auction block or anything like that i don't know if i should be looking out for players in the auction block because I'm, it could be worth it if you find a really good player cheap. But usually, good players aren't cheap. And more, more often than not, they're overexpensed. They're like overpriced on the auction block rather than underpriced. So, it's rare to find a good deal. And I don't know I should be trading either. Because I have a few decent cards that I might be able to trade. Like I have like 89 Jamal Charles. I have a 90 Sebastian Janikowski. Now, that might actually go for something. If someone's desperate for a guy with a strong leg and mutt, I could maybe trade my damn Sebastian Janikowski or put that up on the auction market. And I have a few other decent cars I could potentially put up. So I don't know if I should be working the trade block or anything like that. Because this is my first year playing mutt as we get to pick their palm out. So I, I really don't know what I should be doing. So I just want to, you know, learn it now so I have it down pat for the rest of the year. So... If anybody's willing to explain it in the comment section to me or like even send me a personal message or something, that would be nice. You know, I would definitely appreciate that because it'll, it'll make the Mutt series better if I know what the hell I'm doing rather than me stumbling into every video saying, and I, I don't know how this works or I don't know how that works. You know, it'd be better if I knew how everything worked in Mutt. So, you know, I'll try, I'll try to do, I do some of the research myself, you know. I did check the auction block the other day. I was looking at some of the prices and stuff like that and... You know, I checked a few stuff, so I'm trying to learn a little bit myself, but at the same time, I need some people to help explain stuff for me, because I'm not that great at interpreting stuff. I usually need some help <laughs> in order to interpret stuff, so, you know, that's that, and this game is just too easy. This game was too easy. Defense locked it up, offense went for a touchdown, and this is the way much should be. This is the way I expected Mutt to be. We lost the game early in the season. We nearly lost the first game of our whole next-gen Mutt. The, um series here but now we're starting to roll through these seasons or um roll through these games in the season and i get the interception there i think this game gets us a um automatically puts us in the playoffs or actually i'm not sure it puts us in the playoffs it makes us avoid a demotion which there is no real risk of that but especially after this game but you know it's always good to get the coins from that thing usually you get coins from avoiding demotion and making the playoffs and all that nonsense and see we kick a field goal here no point of going for it on fourth here right up 21 nothing defense is locking it down this guy is just you know trying to 
put something together for whatever reason. Kudos to him for not quitting because usually people will quit right now when they're down 24 and nothing. But he stayed in the game and he played it out. And, you know, I guess he just didn't want to get skunked. He didn't want to get shut out. But he's going to get shut out here. B warning here. Even though he's trying to throw up to Calvin who almost comes down with that. I really need some cornerback help, man. Like, I really need some cornerback help as we get the fumble recovery there. And that's how he ends up getting skunked. He just... You know, just, just fumbles the ball there. A little bit of a bad break for him, but at the same time, taking a hit from the quarterback. And Deion Jordan getting that fumble recovery. And that 88 Deion Jordan, I, that guy's rating 88, by the way. Deion Jordan have my team. But I got him for free. I, I don't know why EA Sports usually gives out 80 overall players, but one day they gave out an 88 overall Deion Jordan on the current gen, not the next gen. So I took that, and I was like, okay. And that guy has been doing some work, you know. Even though it was just a fumble recovery. Besides that, I like the way he's playing. And we got a decent squad. My team is rated 82 overall. And there you see we get... Oh, we also get a pack here. That's nice. I wonder what kind of pack we're going to get. Hold up. Hold up. Let's let's get the anticipation going. What kind of pack are we going to get? Drum roll, please. Uh, Thanksgiving Classic Pack. Ultimate Green Bead. Okay. That was a letdown. I thought I was getting cards. Not, well, like players or contracts or anything. That's not freaking green peas. Really? That's what you get when you... Whatever, man. Whatever. I won't worry about that. But really, though, how are you going to say you get one pack and it just give you one card of some lame green peas that are apparently worth nothing? I asked people on Twitter what the thing is worth, and it's absolutely nothing as Paul Amalu comes through. A few people in the comment section were like, yo, you can't play that Paul Amalu. That guy sucks. You check his stats. He's not good. Well, you know what? He's an 89 overall, and he's my, he's like, I think he's my best overall player besides, um, yeah, I think it actually is straight, yeah, um, Calvin Johnson, I think is my best overall player, and I think that Andy Lee, my punter, is a 90, which is pretty lame to have a 90 overall punter. I got, like, the best punter and kicker in the game, but I rarely ever use them. <laughs> I don't even have, um, Janikowski in the game right now. I have, um, Houchko on my team, because I want to burn out Janikowski's contract, and plus I kind of want to trade him, too, or just, um, auction him. So, you know, I'm not even playing that Janikowski right now. As we go up seven points early, and then Drew Brees on the read option. Nah, -uh, not going to work. He fumbles the ball. Takes a big hit there from, I believe, Von Miller. And now we run our own option here. Because we actually have an option quarterback. We have RG3. And I forgot what I was saying. Forget it. I, I completely forgot what I was saying. So, I'm sorry. I was making a good point. I'm sorry about that. I'm also sorry about that pass. That was stupid. Throwing it into the middle of nowhere. Should have been picked off. Got bailed out there. Keep the drive alive. And that's the only way I can lose some of these muck games. If I just get bored and do dumb stuff like that. And I'm really capable of doing some really stupid things in Madden. So, you know, I might just lose another game before the season's out. Because of something like that. And I pretty much should have thrown a turnover there. And here, RG3 rolling out and fumbling the Oh, I try to get in the end zone. And once again, when I try to get in the end zone with RG3, someone tackles me at the one and I fumble the ball and lose it there. So, and I just, I just try to take a chance that I can make it in there. And I didn't. So, I probably have to be a little bit more careful about that. Just get down there and play the... Play the one-yard line, because not that score hard to score from the one-yard line anyways. But thankfully, the defense continues to lock it up. Troy Paul Mao getting his second pick of the game. That time, it was on me, so I didn't really have to do much with the card itself. But um, yeah, that, oh, that's what I was talking about, that Paul Mao. It's my best card, so I'm not putting him on the bench. Because my next best safety is like an 80 overall, the Brian Dawkins that they give you. Or I don't even know who I was. I wasn't even using an actual safety before I got the Paul Mao. So, you know, until I get a better safety... I'll rock Paul Malu for a little bit. And Paul Malu's making some plays now. He got three interceptions, or actually four interceptions, I think, in the, these past two games. So that Paul Malu is doing work right now as he throws a screen pass. But there's Deion Jordan, I believe. I guess he's 98. Yeah, that's the only 98 I know on my team. So I'm just gonna assume it's Deion Jordan there. Actually, I don't know. Don't don't quote me on that. Don't don't pump. Don't like bet me that that's Deion Jordan. Cause I'm probably wrong. But um, one thing we can't bet is that I'm probably going to win this game here. He's rolling out the pocket here, third down and one. Does, did he get the first down? Okay, they actually gave him the first down, but he has no timeout. So he's in desperation mode, trying to get a field goal, and instead he throws an interception. At the end of the half, I could have definitely clocked this guy out. I, I almost pretty much ran hard up near the end, but I gave him a chance because I'm that confident that someone will like, throw an interception in Mutt. Like, when I realized someone is bad and I had them, you know, backed up in Mutt, I will, you know, not clock or anything. I'll just try to go up as much as I can early in the game. And because he threw the interception, I get three extra points there. We run the flea flicker right after we run the halfback pass. Not exactly the plays you would run in a two-minute drill. But um, we got three points out of it. So when it works, it's all good. 
Though, pretty much anything works in Mutt, you know? Not that hard to get through Mutt. As, um, you know, now now, now we're getting these blowout-type games. I'm starting to feel more confident in this Mutt team. I'm like, you know what? We could probably go to the Super Bowl, win, and take it from there. And my plan with this Mutt series is that I want to, you know, finish the Super Bowl by New Year's. That's that's the thing. So, we're, this is game number seven of the season that we're probably going to end up winning. At this rate, we might get a first, if we win out, I think we don't even have to play the 10th game. Of the, I don't know how the hell it works. We might or might not have to play the 10th game, and we might get a first round by some some shenanigans like that. And, you know, we'll have, uh, there'll probably be like three to four more Mutt videos until New Year's. Some Somewhere around that range, or maybe five, I don't know. Depends how depends how close the games are. They're like blowouts like this, I'll bunch them up together. But we play close games, then it'll be one by one. So let's just say theoretically. We got five more games left to play in the season, including the playoffs, and I'll end up putting out five videos. So let's just say that. So I want to get this series done by either Christmas or New Year's, around then, and then we'll see how the series go. We'll see um, if I learn more month, if I get new cards. We'll, I'll try to change the squad up a little bit if we get into a new season, you know, so just for the fun of it as Calvin Johnson catching the out right there. Next play, I was like, you know what? Let me run the same play here to Calvin. And then Calvin decides, I'm jumping over that guy. Look at this freaking Calvin Johnson, man. Thank you, EA. And by the way, I think I found out why EA Sports keeps on giving me these, um, ooh, get down. Why they keep on giving me these free cards, these cover cards, like Madden 13, Calvin Johnson, stuff like that. Apparently, it's through achievements. It's like, if you get an achievement for, I think the Paul Malu I got was because I played a game in December. Some, something really stupid like that. But they gave me a Paul Malu like pretty much free out of achievement. It's really easy. You can look it up. I don't have the exact facts. But um, as you see, we what we might have lost this game here. It looked like we might have gotten booted. But thankfully, we do come out with the win. It took like five minutes for this thing to show up as a win. I got scared. But we ended up winning the game. So I um, hope you guys leave a like on the video. Um, Subscribe for some more Man 25 online games and, and all that. Um, And I'll catch you guys next time.